Let's take a look at the molecular geometry for NCl3, that's nitrogen trichloride. So we have a Lewis structure here for nitrogen trichloride, and we can see that this central nitrogen here, this is where we're looking at the molecular geometry, has one, two, three, and then the lone pair, four groups attached to it. So it has a steric number of four. Because of that, we could look at this table here and see that our steric number is four. It's going to be one of these molecular geometries. We note that there's a lone pair on top of the nitrogen here. So we have one lone pair and four as our steric group. That's trigonal pyramidal. So that's the molecular geometry for NCL3. We can see it right here. If we look at the molecule and see how it's formed in accordance with valence shell electron pair repulsion theory, that would look like this. So our central nitrogen, that's right here, the nitrogen in purple. We're going to add three chlorine atoms. One, two, they spread out, three. And right now, everything's in a plane. When we add that final lone pair on top here, watch how it pushes everything down. There we go. So there's our trigonal pyramidal. That's the molecular geometry for NCl3. You got a bond angle about 109.5. I would expect it to be less because this right here, this lone pair is pushing down on these. This is Dr. B with the molecular geometry or shape for NCl3 nitrogen trichloride. Thanks for watching.